Here we have a sample PDF file and what we'd like to do with this file is kind of go in and analyze a little bit of what's been done. Now the first thing we'll look at is the bookmarks panel and you'll see that this document has been enabled for quick referencing via bookmarks to find information that we're looking for. If we look here we see there is a link to a website for further clarification on the topic or, en or enrichment for the topic and we even see that there's a bookmark here that will actually play a movie uh, so you remember bookmarks do a lot of interesting things but there's also a lot of markup on this document and we want to talk about that just as an, in an overview and uh, to find out what's happening within the PDF document over here on our co comments panel you'll see uh, we have annotations and we have markup tools, a lot of different tools here. We'll also see that there seems to be a lot going on in this document. So let's just take a look at some of the things uh, and then we'll decide what we want to do with this as we move forward. Well, you'll see right here that uh, there is something listed right here. If I click on that, it'll focus me or take me to that particular page. And this happens to be a text box and that little text box markup right here allows you to create a text box and to add some information to that. So that's a handy item to have uh, when you need to uh, overlay and these are overlays on the document. And you also see there's an audio comment right here that we can click on and uh, this is a way for you to be able to record something if you want to make this part of that annotation or markup layer. There's also a, what we see a little thumbtack right here and what that is, is that is a attachment tool as a comment that's attaching a file as a comment. So here is that little record audio tool and this is the record or rather attach file as a comment. Now when you attach a file as a comment, you'll click there and you'll browse to the, the document that you want to attach and it could be any type of document and then that document lives here in the attachments panel. So this becomes part of this particular PDF, making it really useful for keeping all relevant materials together. And uh, moving further through this, we see uh, we have a kind of conventional sticky note. And you'll see the sticky note uh, opens up for you to actually place in some information there. You can copy and paste or you can type right into this. And you'll notice as you move through this document, as you click on different markups, either in the document itself, you'll be drawn to the, that particular place in the comments list where that's uh, being discussed. What's nice about comments is that within the comment list, you can choose to reply to a specific comment if you want to reply to that as a thread, you can set status, you can delete if it's something you've created, or better yet, you can use properties here, and properties can let you create just the kind of look you're trying to get for that uh, markup tool. If you need to, you can change the name of the author. If you are a reviewer or if you want this to be anonymous, you can. And you can even see the review history when it's been uh, put through a review cycle, which is something that you'll learn in the course. So these kinds of uh, features that allow you to take an existing PDF and mark it up and do more with it are extremely uh, useful in saving time and uh, energy and for that matter, uh, saving resources.